Hello and welcome back to Tesla News. My name is Marion and I'm your host today and I'm going to give you a new update regarding exclusive information from Giga Berlin. So let's start with the numbers here. We have 86 cars per day, five days a week, 430 cars per week. So that is a lower number as I mentioned before and any newspaper was reporting about that. But I can explain you why that is the case. Because they currently only have for another four 14 days on um, battery packs and we do know that they get the battery packs from Shanghai so this might be the reason why they haven't increased the production rate yet as they are currently not having so much on side battery pack wise so they have to wait to get more battery packs from Shanghai so they can still produce for another 14 days without receiving any battery packs then for each station in the production line they currently um, need three minutes but they are supposed to um, take 90 seconds um, again, there will be a remodeling of the production line in um, the first week and second week of July. So there won't be any production in the first half of July. And after this remodeling, there will be 30 seconds per station. Again, guys, this is a um, huge speed. So Tesla is going to improve that. And with that, they can also do more cars on the same production line. So just remember that. Then they don't have enough... Um, people working there yet they need more people to make a second production line which is also an issue to find enough that is something i have mentioned before in germany it is very difficult to find very good employees um, now um, and then we have as well interesting information um, regarding um, the entire situation in grünheide um, when it comes to the cars being produced when they come out there is another um, space in the factory where they check the cars on any kind of um, damages or not perfection wise if it's okay or not that is why we don't see all these cars standing outside because they have them inside and they hold them there a bit like in austin when they have the space um, to check the cars inside then because the demand of the Model Y performance is so insane and i'm going to go into some numbers here because it's getting crazy um, because the demand of the Model Y performance is so insane, um, they have not thought about it um, to do the Model Y long range in Grünheide. So I personally, based on the information I received, don't expect any Model Y long range production this year. And I tell you why, because there was a number going around in the factory. Again, you have to take that cautiously. I say that honestly to you because it's so high, I cannot even believe it. Um, it's supposed to be 2 million Model Y performance variant reservations for all um, adapters with CCS. So you guys know CCS adapters so far. For all markets with the CCS um, adapter, there's supposed to be reservations of 2 million Model Y performance. Again, guys, stay cautious with that. Even if it's just for the European market, like 400,000, it would be already insane. It would be more than I have ever thought. And it would make sense that it would be for the European market, maybe only around 400,000 or 300,000. So they have like a yearly production of Model Y performance. And that's why they are not thinking about doing the Model Y long range this year. But can you believe it? That is the number. Um, they are talking about inside the factory. That is the reservations they are supposed to have. It can be internationally. Um, I think CCS is as well the Korean market and there are other markets that have this adapter as well. So it can be internationally um, in total. But again, the, um, the market for Europe and the, the space and the pie chart of what you can take away from the 2 million for um, the European market um, will be insane. And this is much, much higher, guys, than anybody can think about. So again, guys, I think um, Tesla is doing a great job here. Um, they do have struggles to um, ramp up the production, which I believe is just because of the battery packs. I think they could do it faster. Um, but um, remember, guys, first and second week of July, there will be um, a lockdown pretty much. They will um, close everything. 
and then we can expect um, very, very fast speed and with that even more cars in the second half of this year um, once they establish a second production line and they establish a faster speed where they just use uh, 30 seconds per section and this would allow Tesla to rapidly um, increase the numbers of production. Until then, I do expect a very slow ramp up depending on everything I have just mentioned regarding the logistical aspect, um, having the cars coming from um, the battery packs coming from Shanghai. So you guys see it is amazing what's happening over there. It's insane demand and they are just trying their best to um, pretty much um, take care of the demand. I had other informations before that from other people saying already Model Y performance um, demand is insane and now we kind of have a number for the international market. Well, what does this mean for European customers? It means that the Model Y and the Model 3 um, are very important to get from China because the Model Y long range will be produced in China for a longer time. Um, this could also be in a reaction of Tesla to expand in China because they need more Model 3, more Model Y long range for international markets. Um, the theory I had before that with the Model Y long range, um, they are actually going to uh, move that to Germany sooner and then they're just going to have the Model 3 coming from China. This is a theory that you can now just debunk it's it's gone it's gone because of the high demand which is very nice and it is a very profitable car so we have the Glover Splendor on its way um, right now at Singapore and the Taven is also moving to um, Singapore and then to Europe then we have as well um, domestic issues in um, Model 3 and Model Y in China we talked about the AMD Ryzen chip before that it was overheating so they kind of do a recall here right now in China as well um, it's still not clear um, if it's going to be, I do assume that all the cars will be over the air updates. So again, the word recall, um, just as a reminder, as we do know what a recall is. Then in China, the cases are actually going down. So we can expect more news, more updates coming soon, maybe even production starting to ramp up again. Um, based on information we have so far, this might be happening in the beginning of June. So again, this is also very important to have Tesla moving um, back to um, initial production rates like before the lockdown. Again, it's not really helping this entire situation for the demand in Australia. As you, some of you guys are from Australia, it's not really helping the lockdown in China as well as for the European market with the Model 3. But again, guys, we have insane demand in all fronts and we just um, see how Tesla can handle that. So if you're new to my channel, do consider subscribing. I would really appreciate that and I wish you a wonderful day. Take care. Thank you.